Hey YouTube, this is Blazing Dad here, and today we're going to be discussing how to attach an American front license plate to a 2015 to 2017, maybe newer, Subaru WRX sedan. Alright, as you can notice here, this is the original front bumper here on the uh, Subaru WRX, and there are two great big holes right here, and then right up here there are two little divots. Now, this is an American plate. Yes, I know it's a rear plate, but this is just for an example. The bolts holes on the rear plate do not match up to those big holes on the bumper. Maybe those are for a Japanese plate, I don't know. But there are two little divots in the bumper which need to be drilled in order to put your American plate. Now, this does not sit well with me. I don't want to drill two additional holes in here, so I had an idea. What's the most cost-effective way to put an American type plate um, utilizing the holes that came from the factory? If you take a look down here, this is what we've come up with. You need to get yourself two well nuts, and these are size 10 20 fourths, I believe, and they're not metric. If you get these, you're also going to need two bolts and you're also going to need two washers and a drill would help as well. So here's a closer look at the parts. What you're going to require are two well nuts, they look like this, two bolts and two washers. Okay guys so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take these well nuts and if you'd like you could put a little bit of grease just on the outside so that they go smoothly into these holes. Um, here's the right one and here's the left one. Okay, no problem. Voila. Now, as you can tell, you're not going to be able to line up the original uh, American plate holes with these well nuts. So, what you're going to need to do is figure out where you want this. Now, the beauty of this is this is just an old plate that I had and I'm not sure if I want it up here or if I want it hanging down here, probably not because I don't want to impede the airflow to the condenser. So I'm probably going to go right dab here in the middle. That looks good. Okay, right dab here in the middle. So the next thing we're going to need to do is mark the plate, okay? What I'm going to do now is I screwed in the two bolts in here and I'm, and I'm going to put a little bit of paint on the bolts just to help me mark it because I can't see behind the license plate. So this is dead center. Just like so. And if we look on the back, we have, if we look on the back here, we know exactly where to drill our holes. The paint back there. Take that white paint off because we don't need it, but it's not going to hurt anything. All right. Now with a drill, I'm going to drill two holes right back here. Once again, I'd rather drill holes in the license plate than drill holes in the bumper. And I'm just turning these bolts by hand. 
and voila, we've now got the American plate on the front without having to drill two more holes in the bumper. It's straight, it's trick, and it costed six dollars. Right. There you go, I hope um, you've gained something from this and you're able to put your front license plate on your car. So that'll help you getting, that will help you uh, avoid getting pulled over.